Hello, my name is Mark Roberts. I'm the CEO of Springboard Biodiesel. And I'm happy to introduce our new product, the Spring Pro T76. This is a dry wash. Many of you are familiar with the concept of dry wash, but basically we will take the raw biodiesel and clean it without water. We use uh, eco to pure in the lead column and Thermax in the lag column. We fill with 30 pounds of eco to pure and 50 pounds of Thermax. Uh, we are proud to say that you know, we, we believe that the Spring Pro T76 is the best dry wash system on the market today and for a number of reasons. First of all, it's made of uh, steel, it's powder coated, it's high quality construction, much like our BioPro biodiesel processors. It has a number of benefits in terms of ease of use. We've developed some technology called Theta Lock technology. This allows basically an easier way to load and unload the resins that you'll be using to clean your biodiesel. We've tried to optimize the construction of this by pre-plumbing the unit so that when you get it, it's as close to plug and play as is possible. It's also built with an elevated resin bed, which we designed to more efficiently optimize the life, longevity, and successful usage of the resins, both Eco to Pure and Thermax. The, the unit you see featured here has our premium package on it, which includes a 20 gallon per minute metering pump, a fuel filter, and basically enables you to connect this seamlessly to either a BioPro 190 or 380 or 150 or any other biodiesel processor that you have. This is built to work with any biodiesel processor. And with this unit, you can clean 50 gallons of biodiesel in two and a half hours. Now we have our fresh batch of biodiesel in the BioPro 190. We've just drained off the glycerin and we're going to connect it to the T76 dry wash system, which has the premium package installed on it. So to connect it there, we first click in the included cam lock fitting onto the BioPro 190. We connect that with the JIC fitting to the T76 premium package. We give it a quick tighten. Good. All right, so we just connected that fitting there, and of course this uh, can just as easily be connected to any other biodiesel processor. Now before we start this up, we want to double check to make sure that all of our valves are open on this. That includes two valves on the bottom of each one of the columns, so the inlet valve, the outlet valve, the valve coming from our biodiesel processor, and the two valves on the top of the columns the two valves right here. Having double checked that, we're ready to begin cleansing our fuel. Now to actually start the T76 dry wash system, we just make sure it's plugged into a standard 110 volt outlet and we just turn it on. So we have our T76 dry wash system running here. As we can see, it's drawing in fuel from our biodiesel processor through the inlet valve. It pulls it through a suction strainer to protect the pump, through the metering pump, and then it pumps it up into the internal plumbing of the machine. From there, it passes through a valve, then another valve into the lead column. We have a pressure gauge monitoring the pressure through the system. It's running about 10 pounds right now, which is just right. And then the fuel percolates through the lead column. Right now we have Eco2 Pure dry wash media in the lead column. It works its way down where most of the contaminants are absorbed, most of the bulk contaminants. It then passes through two other valves into the internal plumbing of the system, where it passes back up through a stainless steel braided line through two more valves into the lag column. Once again, we have a pressure gauge on this lag column. It's reading about seven PSI, which is just right. It percolates through the Thermax in the lag column. Obviously, the user can choose his own media, but uh, Thermax is the one that we've found has best results. It percolates through that lag column, through the Thermax there, back out the bottom through a couple more valves, through the stainless steel lines, back up to the outlet, 
where there's a gauge that indicates uh, the pressure behind the fuel filter that we have built into the premium package. Passes through there, through the stainless steel line, through a fuel filter, and out into your storage barrel or wherever you might happen to be storing it. The basic idea behind the soap test is that as long as there are soaps in the biodiesel that's dissolved into the isopropyl alcohol, the bromophenol blue indicator will be blue in this solution. As we slowly add hydrochloric acid, it'll break down those soaps. And when all the soaps are gone, the solution will become acidic. And then the bromophenol blue will turn to a yellow color. And so we're going to take, measure how much hydrochloric acid it takes to do that, and that will give us a measurement of the level of soaps in the biodiesel. I'll come around. Dip a sample of the biodiesel out of the top. And there we'll go. We'll set that aside for further testing. About. 11 milliliters does the job. So now we've run about 40 gallons of biodiesel through the T76 dry wash system from our last batch. And we're going to snag a sample of it coming out the outlet here and see, uh, see what kind of soap levels we have. So we'll just catch it in the beaker. Obviously, it's, obviously, you see it's clean and clear. Uh, looks pretty good. We'll do a more uh, quantitative test here on the bench. Then we add around 15 drops of the bromophenol blue to give it a good color indication. And as we see, it stays yellow instead of turning blue which show that we have no detectable soap in this sample. 